Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing Pro Arts Pro Line Plus Watercolor Paintbrush. Right here I have the uh, Filbert sized paintbrush. They do come in multiple sizes and shapes. I'm going to go over that shortly, but I just wanted you all to know that the brush that I will be using is this one right here. Now, as I do my testing, if you are new to this channel or my video content, when I test out brushes, I like to do an initial test just to see how much water the bristles can retain and how long I can go before I need to um, replenish that. So what I'm doing right now is just painting out some basic lines, seeing how long it takes until it gets to the point where it's just unusable. That actually is about right about now, but I still am going to do a couple more strokes just to see um, what can happen because sometimes when you're painting with watercolor, getting that dry brush effect and putting in some texture can create some interesting dynamics in your paintings. I'm also testing to see if if you flip it to the other side, if it still is retaining liquid on the top side that's not being brushed down. And what I'm doing as well as a part of my little test is just to see how well the bristles retain their shape, how sharp of a line I can get. And as you can see, even though this isn't a pointed round brush, I can still get some really sharp lines and some interesting brush strokes with it. And by brush, uh, pressing down really tough, like I am right there, creating that circle, you can see that the bristles are retaining their shape. They didn't bend or anything or go out of shape. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of it. What is this brush made with? How many options are there? But before I show you it in action, yes, I'm well aware my hand is blocking the view right now, so I'm just gonna skip ahead to when that's not happening. So the Pro Art brand has a line called ProLine, but the ProLine Plus, according to their website, is their flagship uh, series of the ProLine collection. <sighs> Sorry, when brands say called, uh, that's just, <laughs> It felt like a dunk twister of a sentence right there, guys. <laughs> okay, so what makes the ProLine Plus a plus? So what makes this different than their original ProLine series? And what it is, is what type of bristles it's made with. So the ProLine Plus are made with purely synthetic fibers that create a synthetic um, natural hair mimicking experience. So basically the materials used to make this synthetic brush feel closer to natural hair brushes, which makes it softer and better at retaining water. This series of brush also comes in a variety of sizes and shapes. Now I did choose to buy the Filbert a while back just to round out my own collection of paint brushes. The other shapes that this series come in are pointed rounds and one strokes. One stroke is actually a flat brush, so those square shaped paint brushes, they just like to call it one stroke. And that can be confusing for people who are new to uh, buying art supplies or being a part of creating uh, art as a way for healing when other companies use different sayings to describe something that others would call, you know, a more common saying like a flat brush. But that aside, they do come in those three shapes and multiple sizes from size zero all the way up to 20. I also feel like at this point, I should probably uh, just let you know that my dog is sitting next to me right now as I record as I record this voiceover. So if he uh, makes any noises, that's just life. How do I feel about this paintbrush? Does it create, you know, ease of use? Is it a good type of shape that I re that I purchased? Um, those kind of questions. What I like to do when I'm thinking about reviewing a paintbrush and posting it online is: Would I recommend it to somebody who doesn't have any paintbrushes? Would I repurchase this? 
and if I had easy access to it which I do thanks to online shopping is it something that I would pick over others so if you're new to creating art the proline plus is actually a really nice paintbrush it's a fairly reasonable price range depending on where you are because of exchange differences I purchased mine through Jackson's so the pricing is going to be a little different as I am Canadian um, but I do say it's a good one for anyone who's just getting started or someone who has been at this for a little bit but finds that their really stiff brushes just aren't giving them what they want out of free uh, movement and accessibility to um, creating flowing lines or anything like that and would I you know repurchase this myself yes I don't think I would do anything again in the filbert size I realized while painting with this that yes filbert is really handy for doing certain types of flowers and shapes but as a watercolor artist type approach to things I found that the filbert isn't as universal it is for me as when I am painting with my acrylics I love filberts they're kind of my go-to along with flat brushes when I do acrylic painting but for watercolor, I'm discovering that round brushes, flat brushes, and daggers are my favorite. That was kind of a roundabout way of saying, yes, I will order this again, but in a different shape. I'm thinking a flat brush would be my go-to. The Pro Line Align, <laughs> I feel like I should reword that. Let's just go with Pro Art as a brand. ProArt as a company is not easily accessible in Canada. I can't go to any local art supply stores and pick one up. I can only purchase it online through Jackson's. That's not really a huge deal for me. I typically do a lot of my shopping nowadays online versus going in person. But if you are the type of individual that prefers to have the ability to see the brush in front of you, feel it, see if it's the right size for you, and you prefer to shop in person, Pro Art is not going to be one of those lines that is accessible everywhere, depending on where you're from. In Canada, I don't have access to it in store, but I do have it at Jackson's. And I will say now that I do have a link to this paintbrush and this line in the description section below. I constantly shop at jacksonsart.com and um, I am a part of their affiliate program so basically if you do purchase through one of my links I get a small commission but it's at no extra cost to you which is what's so great about their setup. I also want to let you know because we are reaching the end of this video but not all paintbrushes are created equal when it comes to mixed media. The uh, ProLine Plus brush is advertised as being just a watercolor paintbrush. However, right now I am using it with my acrylic gouache and it washed up really nice. Um, not all brushes can handle certain materials. It might get clumpy, it might stick, it might stain, you know, it might destroy the brush, but this one here did really well. So it's also a great one for someone who is using art as a means for healing and does a lot of mixed media type work. Alrighty, before it gets to the actual end, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this. If you guys have any questions about this paintbrush or you feel like I didn't touch on a feature or an aspect you thought of, let me know in the comment section below and I will let, and I'll answer your questions. If there are any other art supplies that you are interested in or you want to know more about also list that down in the comment section below if it's something i have access to i will see about acquiring it for you guys and doing a little review and letting you know if it's a good one or a bad one Alrighty, so we are at the end once again thank you so much for being a part of this healing with art community and until next time stay magical